am here with some special guests, my grandbabies. And they are the best grandbabies ever. Say hello. Hello. Hey, yeah. They're awesome. I get the privilege of taking them to school today. Love that. So, not sure what we're going to talk about today. I think they just wanted to come on and say hello and introduce themselves. And I wanted to do that with them. Make sure to check out my YouTube channel. My uh, grandbaby. YouTube channel is called Aiden Vanderbilt. That's right. My my grandson has a YouTube channel called Aiden Vandenberg, and he was talking about Pokemon cards in his in his YouTube channel, and it was amazing. And as soon as my little granddaughter gets big enough, I'm sure she will have a YouTube channel. So, what do you think, Aiden and Kalen, about Grammy's YouTube channel? It's, it's, it's really, um, it's really nice and I really like it. She likes it. She likes it. Get over here, Aiden, a little bit so I can see you closer to Caitlin. There we go. Let's talk about Christmas presents. No, Christmas, Christmas presents. No, no, no. Well, they just got back from a cruise. So, and they got some really cool souvenirs. Tell them about that. Yeah. I yeah. Hang on a second, one at a time. Aiden goes first. I got a Gucci bracelet. No, I got that. No, I got that. Okay, all right, now listen. We're not going to fight her. I'll turn it off. Stop it. Okay, I'll turn it off. All right, Aiden, you go first. Kaylin, let him talk. I got a Gucci bracelet, and it's real. I did not make it. It's a real Gucci bracelet. And I bought it for $200. Oh, well, I don't know if it was real or not, but... And I got a new chain, too. You got a new chain. What else did you get? You got some... Um, and a, and, and a, for Christmas, I got a Rolex. You got a Rolex. He got kind of a... It's a, a cheaper Rolex, but that's what he wanted. All right, Kaylin, your turn. Um, Speak up a little bit. I got a charm bracelet. Charm bracelet. And I got a teddy bear that says Carnival Breeze. All right, Carnival Breeze, a teddy bear, and what else? I got a rose. I got this, um, I got, um, this diamond pen. A diamond pen, and I got this little teddy bear charm. A teddy bear charm, okay. And That's it. All right, now you guys tell me what the greatest part of the cruise was for you. Aiden, go ahead. You go first. Kaylin, let him speak. Um, the greatest part of the cruise was walking in the Victoria's Park because I can see all the iced out. <laughs> he liked all the jewelry stores because he likes to see iced out stuff, which means lots and lots of diamonds and stuff on the jewelry. I didn't he know. Loves, he loves I, to say clout gang and all this I didn't know what iced out meant, but now I do. My, my grandbaby boy told me. <laughs> All right, Kaylin, what was your part for your greatest part of the cruise? She loved every bit of it the food and the what now, the souvenirs. You liked that? Did you like um, Club Carnival? Camp, camp carnival, camp carnival. Yeah, it was fun. I made, I made a ton of friends, but my favorite was probably Taylor. She's a girl. Taylor, and you, Aiden? Um, Aiden was my favorite. Oh, yeah, and I made another friend, Ellie. Their 
Papa was going to go with them. I was telling you before in my last cruise how my husband has problems with his stomach. So we're going today to uh, do his pre-op appointment and make sure that he's still on for surgery on the 26th. So if he's still on for surgery, maybe next year we'll be able to take a cruise. But like I said before, when he has these stomach problems, they're life-threatening, so we can't really go far away from home on that. So we had planned to go on the cruise, but we decided not to do that um, about three months before. So yeah, we missed he it. He could have got one of those well, the sick patches aren't for that. The sick patches are for making you feel better when your tummy is messed up. When your tummy, when you feel like you're going to be sick, it doesn't it doesn't have anything to do with what pop what's wrong with Papa. Well, one of the days I was uh, on the cruise and I, I went to I went like like ten times. You went poop ten times. Yeah. That's a lot of poop. Yeah, my oh, it's bright. Um, it is bright, isn't it? Yeah, my stomach was messed up. Yeah. I, I, I still have my seat patch on. You know what seat patches are? They're little things you can wear if you get seasick. That's right. And then, um, I took a poop in the toilet. No. Okay. And, well, Galen, Galen, let him talk. We're not talking about poop. We're not, no, we're not talking about, it didn't have any blood in it, you're crazy. Okay, so, we're going to school this morning, and it's a Friday, so you've got the weekend coming up. Who's your favorite teacher? Uh, well, probably my favorite teacher is my, my favorite. It's fair clock. But my favorite teacher that we have specials with is where we go like to like gym or to a computer. Oh. Library. My favorite one of those is probably going to be the art teacher. She's really nice. The art teacher. Aiden, who's your favorite teacher? Okay, um, let him speak. I don't really have one. Go up tomorrow. I will let you know. Um, 
I'll get it edited this afternoon probably and it will go up tomorrow because since we're, we're coming up on your school um, I'm just gonna end it right here and then we'll do the uh, do not laugh what is it called try not to laugh with water in your mouth try not to laugh contest or whatever in an upcoming you video you have to watch these funny videos Okay, I may pick up uh, after they get out of the car with a little bit more to talk about. All right, I just dropped them off at school. Um, what I think I'm gonna do is I think I'm going to incorporate my husband's birds into this video so you guys can see them because I said that I was gonna do that. So I'm gonna end it right here for me talking into the, into the, uh, the camera and we will um, pick it up with his birds. This is a baby Harris hawk egg. Uh, as you can see, there's a small opening on top. You can hear it, it cheeping. It is pipped. That's what we call it when it breaks open the egg. You can see it started to break the open an egg open across sideways. Eventually, it'll use its egg tooth to saw all the way through the egg, uh, cutting it essentially in half and then we'll have a baby Harris hawk chick. If you look right here, you can see it actually moving in there. You can see this little piece of, of egg actually moving around where the little head is at. Here are my husband's Harris hawks. They are fighting. They want to be fed. They are <laughs> adorable. He's getting ready to feed him. You can see the chick is watching every movie makes. He'll be putting them back with the mama soon, so they're getting stronger. These chicks are what, Mike? About There's a week about, old? About week old? four days, five days, something like that. One's four days and, and, and one is five days. So I'll be putting them back in in the next day or two with the parents. I, uh, the, the, reason that I, um, the reason that I hand feed them for a couple of days is because um, it's hard to take care of little babies, and if I give them a head start and make sure they get fed for a couple of days first, they do better. This is my husband, Mike. Hang on, let me. This is my husband, Mike. He is hey. the falconer. So aren't they this the cutest things ever? I love them. I hope you enjoyed watching that.